Protect a Bird. We're all about keeping kids safe, and we're doing a campaign about keeping kids safe, safe kids. Tell me a little bit about how you guys keep kids safe with your NOVA program. Well, the NOVA program, it stands for Nurturing Opportunities, Values, and Accountability. So all of it is about keeping kids safe. Um, I taught D.A.R.E. classes a few years ago, and, and D.A.R.E. is a great program. It's a different program, um, talking mostly about drugs. The NOVA program goes into uh, the drug situation and how to avoid drugs, but also Internet safety and cell phone safety and some uh, you know, uh, uh, self-esteem classes and, and things, things that would help kids make good choices. Definitely, and we're talking about technology today and how our kids are getting more and more influenced by it. Tell me a little bit how we can keep our kids safe um, using the internet or their cell phones. Well, first of all, as parents, we need to know we have to have some knowledge about the internet and cell phones as well if we're going to be able to understand what our kids are do using and what they're going through. Um, one of the things I, I suggest is uh, getting familiar with just even searching with the internet. I know that sounds silly because some people it's like they live on the computer for work and other things but uh, there are lots of people who just don't you know don't know how to navigate through the internet. So getting to know the internet and then having uh, discussions with your kids that are age appropriate at different times about uh, you know some kind of uh, sensitive topics like pornography or strangers you know we teach them don't talk to strangers on the street or whatever but we don't really talk about you know avoid strangers online with social networking sites like MySpace or Facebook and things like that and uh, that whatever you post whether it's through your cell phone or online it's always there even if you delete it it, yeah. It's always there. Especially with social networking sites. I know the kids can upload their photos and people can learn really fast where your kids are, where they live, what their activities are. What do you suggest for parents for that? For uh, <laughs> Keeping them safe, I know. Keeping them safe. <laughs> well, <clears throat> education. Because it's kind of like uh, with cell phones. And here, here, I'll just grab my cell phone. You know, this phone, mm -hmm. it's a phone, but it also is the internet. And it yeah. has the keyboard and the whole thing. And I can go online with it. And pretty much every phone nowadays has a camera. Mm -hmm. and has the capability of going online or at least sending and receiving pictures and videos. And so sometimes it's like we give our kids, it's like giving our, our kids the keys to the car, but we haven't taught them how to drive yet yeah. or something important like that, you know, that we need to be able to explain to them the use for it and then give them expectations so they can live up to that. And, and we have Sean here who's taken your Nova, Nova classes and you're going to show him, him a little bit of how to navigate maybe keeping safe and even a site maybe that shows parents how to do that too. Yeah. So, okay, Sean. Sean was one of my uh, Nova students and he also got to do his uh, essay, read his essay, the Nova graduation. So this is good. One of the classes that I teach at the elementary schools comes from this website and it's called NetSmarts. Uh, netsmarts.org, O-R-G, and uh, smarts with a Z at the end of it. But there's a, it's a, got a lot of uh, good material for parents, for kids, for teens, but also for us law enforcement officers. And um, one of the really nice things about this site is no matter where the kids go to navigate, there's some games that will teach them internet safety. There's some videos and uh, vignettes for, uh, like, say, teenagers and things. But the What's nice is no matter what link that they click on, it won't take them outside of the NetSmarts uh, uh, website. And it was uh, put together by the Missing and Exploited Children Foundation. So it's a good website for information. And then Sean... Let me I was going to ask Sean something yeah. too. Have you ever had a pop-up, Sean, of maybe some pornography on when you've been on the computer? Uh, yes. And what did you do? I hit that X button at the right corner. Okay. Okay, that's actually something I teach them not to do because that's not a good thing. If a pop-up every pops up, um, depending on who's watching the show right now, there are some ways to get that off. But clicking the X button is not a good idea because what happens is people who sell pornography, they know it's super addictive and they know that all you have to do to become addicted is look at it enough. And so... Especially for our teen boys. Oh, man. That's curiosity, rough. right? Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the thing is they'll make things that look like they're one thing, but they're not. And mm -hmm. so I use the, the example when I'm teaching uh, kids, especially in Nova, about a fishing lure. Because, you know, it looks like a fish and the fish want to eat that, but really it's not a fish. And then once they get hooked on it, it's like that addiction process. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, if a pop-up happens... You don't want to click on that X button. The reason being is that it looks like an X button. It performs its task like an X button. It might shut down, but a lot of times what it is is really a button that just says, 
I like this stuff and I want to see more and it'll download a virus to the computer or some kind of a bot and so you don't want to have that happen. You want to be able to just uh, go in and, and a lot of times you can shut down the browser, either control alt delete and go in and shut it down, run a virus scan, run a spyware scan, make sure your computer's cleaned up because there's a reason that those pop-ups are happening if they're happening. And for parents out there, your kids are Nova, you, you do a great job teaching our kids to be safe. And thanks so much, Sean, for your contribution. Thanks so much, Detective Bird. Appreciate you.